हेलो टू ऑल माई स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टूडे स्टोरी नेम इज द मैन फ्रॉम द एग दिस इज स्टोरी रिटर्न बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति एंड टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक द मैन फ्रॉम द एग नाउ लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी द सेज कश्यप्या इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द सेवन होली ऋषिज एंड द फादर ऑफ ऑल लिविंग स्पेशज वन डे सेज कश्यपा said to his wives khadru and vinita i would like to give you each a boon tell me what do you want the most khadru smiled and said bless me with a thousand sons the sage nodded and then turned to vinita dear husband i want two sons who will be stronger than all the sons of khadru said vinita So be it," said Kashyapa, and blessing both the women. In time, Kadru and Vinita both laid eggs. Kadru's children hatch first, and that is how the first Nagas or the Serpent Tribe came to be. The oldest of them was Adi Shesha, who forms the bed that Vishnu lies on, and he was followed by Vasuki. who would later become the king of snakes vinita waited and waited but her eggs showed no sign of hatching one day when the two women were out of a stroll on a sea shore vinita spotted uchindravas the seven headed horse that had emerged from the churning of the ocean lying in the sky Vinita explained, "Kadru, look at that horse. It is absolutely snow white. How beautiful it is!" Kadru looked at the horse galloping away from them in the darkening skies. "No, Vinita," she said. "Can't you see his tail is black?" By the time they both glanced at the sky again, Uchchhravas had vanished. Vinita was certain that the horse was unquestionably white and said so Kadru Kadru was now not so sure about the telling being black but she was too proud to admit that she may have been wrong the two argued for some time and in the end they decided to bet on it and agreed to return to the seashore at the same time the next day in the hope that uchchhravas would return the bet was simple if the horse tail was black vinita would become kadru's slave and if it wasn't kadru would become vinita's slave Late that night, Kadru called her children and told them about the wager. Some of her children remarked, "Mother, you are wrong. Uchchhravas does not have a black tail. It is all white. You are going to lose." Kadru was worried. She did not want to become Vinita's slave. "Will you not help your mother?" she asked her children. some of you can cover uchchhravas tail and because you are serpent you will appear black from a distance you only have to stay there for as long as vinita and look at this horse after that you can return i can't afford to lose this bet you can't cheat someone like that mother after all you are the one who always tell us to be fair and truthful they protested But the idea of being Vinita's slave was too humiliating. Kadru cried out in anger, "I will become a slave because of all of you. Well, since you don't want to protect your own mother, I curse you with death. All of you will be destroyed in mighty Sarpa Yagya." Only one serpent, Karkotaka, agreed to help his mother. The next day, Vinita and Kadru went to the sea shore to see uchchhravas and there he was happily flying around in the sky this time both of them could see that the horse had a black tail not suspecting any foul play vinita admitted that she had lost and became kadru's slave kadru said 
your slavery will come to an end only when your future son brings nectar from the heavens and receive revives my children who will all perish one day until then you must remain my slave vinita had no choice but to agree years passed by and vinita's ex still didn't hatch tired of being a slave to kadru and overcome by frustration vinita decided that she couldn't wait any longer and use her hands to gently break one of eggs to her surprise and distress she found a beautiful boy inside the egg with undeveloped legs mother he said sadly i am glad to see you but why were you in such a hurry to break this egg good things take time to and your impatience has caused me my legs now i will be not able to retrieve the nectar to free you vinita cried out my dear child you have suffered because of my mistake please forgive me where will you go who will look after you i wish you would stay here with me no mother i must live i will become the charioteer of the sun god i will manage his seven horses and ride from dawn to dusk it is the best job for me as i won't really need to walk when will i see you my child pleaded vinata still upset over losing her son so soon every morning mother i will be known as aruna and i will accompany the sun god every day i implore you not to be impatient next time if you can wait a little longer you will be blessed with another son who will bring you your freedom aruna then left his mother to fulfill his destiny as surya's charioteer this is why the sunrise is also known as arunodaya or the coming of aruna after this incident vinitha took care of the second egg as best as she could and the guilt from her past mistake restrained her from forcing to hatch months and years pass finally one day the egg broke and strong wing healthy bird face man emerged from it mother i have arrived he declared thanks to your patience i am strong and can fly anywhere i am the mighty garuda i will be the primary vehicle of lord vishnu and his consort lakshmi i promise to free you from your slavery without other word he soared high up in the sky while his mother watched him from below with pride happy to finally see him and reassured by his promise she had waited long for her freedom now here is note her prophecy would come true much later during the regan of janme jaya in the kingdom of hastinapur when the serpents would be sacrificed as a revenge for his father's death janme jaya was the successor of parikshit grandson of pandava arjuna now this is the end of the story do you like it then comment it and subscribe my channel bye bye